students now we will uh, discuss the earth's grid system we all know what is grid so just to understand make you understand the grids are you now the imaginary lines now if we talk about the earth's grid system so we have to talk about uh, you know uh, latitudes and longitudes latitudes are imaginary lines passing horizontally whereas longitudes are again imaginary lines from you know that's so vertical lines imaginary vertical lines also we can call and horizontal lines longitudes if if i draw one line center of the earth this is the longitude at 0 degree we call this as a equator equator is the longest and largest imaginary line passing through the center of the earth and separating two hemispheres so this is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and these are the poles we have north pole and the south pole these are nothing but the latitudes but not in the form of the circles here it will end up for example if the, when i said you know this is the largest circle that means if i take the latitude here so relatively it is the shortest and similarly here so relatively this is the bigger one relatively this is the similar so we have around 90 latitudes uh, in the towards the northern part and also similarly 90 to the south part this 90 south is nothing but latitude is the south pole that will be in the point form it's not in the line it's point just point and this is the north pole north pole is at 90 degrees side so from the 0 to 90 you have a uh, north and hemisphere or uh, latitudes and southern hemisphere latitudes 0 to 90 again but we i'll uh, have a symbol s and we'll put a uh, this symbol degree because usually latitudes are calculated the units like you know degrees minutes and seconds for example if i take uh, this 23 of degree south similarly 23 degree 23 and half north and this i'll put 66 of degree north and 66 of south likewise these are the imaginary lines or latitudes we call you know uh, this lane and it is how uh, we are uh, relating to our uh, life these latitudes this relates to our sunlight and this will make you you know the temperature on this you know if at seasons for example during the summer season the focus of the sun is you know on the equator will be on the more part and the reason why this is the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn and here we have antarctic circle and we have this 
latitude called arctic circle so uh, mainly the uh, sunlight falling on this earth will affect even the color of human beings so as we discuss so latitudes are the full circle from the uh, from this side you know on the, uh, around the globe of the earth and whereas here it becomes a short and no point that point is nothing but north pole and the south pole and it's not latitudes are mainly that will affect our usual life with the sunlight and you know the sunlight focus on our earth and it affects and if we discuss about the la longitudes longitudes start from one pole to the other pole and they are not full circles they are semicircles it starts from the pole ends at the pole whereas latitudes are you know, full circles the full circle so these are all uh, longitudes so this forms the grid of our uh, earth so if you want to locate where you are right now so we through this latitude longitude uh, units we can locate the person where exactly he is for example if you know india lies here for example so i can calculate the longitude uh, which longitude is uh, the we have this hemisphere we are eastern and the uh, western hemispheres so east towards east we have 180 degrees 02 0 degree latitude uh, longitude to 180 degree uh, longitude and from the center we call this as the center is nothing but the prime meridian so usually we call longitudes also meridians so 0 to 180 west meridians is a longitude so here we can locate where you are through our longitude exactly with the latitudes if i say and we are in the subtropical region the reason why the tropic of cancer so which line passes through so if you locate so this is the place now where we are in so likewise we can locate any place not only you know uh, bombay uh, uh, new york we can locate even the place now where you stand so uh, this is the grid where it will help us to locate and longitudes it's not only affecting the location and also which will affect the time which is very important for example the timing of india is differs from the america why just because of the longitudes the line passes the imaginary line passes through and you see each and every longitude will cut across the each and every latitude and similarly latitude so latitude every latitude will cut across every longitude so that is the the, the major uh, thing which we have to understand in the grid system for example so in the log uh, for every 0 to uh, 180 i said so one this part uh, visually uh, you know we call prime meridian also called as greenwich meridian greenwich is the place which is located in england and uh, we all know the uh, britishers ruled most of the world long years ago so the reason why they have uh, decided that our part will be the the point from which we have to calculate from the west part of the, the england will be uh, you know western uh, hemisphere and uh, you know western uh, meridians and the east part from the england uh, greenwich meridian so we have all eastern meridians so that is the uh, calculations which we have uh, 
now and uh, for every meridian for a one degree to the another degree we have four minutes difference four minutes difference for example if i stand here say if i stand here imagine that this is zero and this is another uh, one degree difference if i come to this place it will take four minutes so and similarly if i go here so so likewise for every 15 degrees there is a one hour difference so from uh, for example we have around 180 plus 180 so total starting from the greenwich meridian or prime meridian we have total 360 longitudes and we have 24 hours time that means 364 divided by 24 so also we can get 15 degree so uh, the reason why japan uh, will get a new year first and then a new york people because there is a around 12 hours difference from the one place to another so usually we have a confusion in the longitudes as the meridians uh, uh, zero degree as i discussed with the prime meridian zero degree meridian also called as greenwich meridian prime meridian just opposite to this meridian for example if this is a zero degree uh, meridian quite opposite we have 180 degree uh, meridian which is called anti meridian anti means the opposite side why uh, we have for example if i take the example of 12 noon at uh, 10 degree east meridian at the same time at 9 degree meridian what is the time so now at 9 degrees we have to subtract 4 minutes that means 11 hour 56 minutes now you tell me whether should i write a am or pm because this meridian now we are taking the one step uh, you know, subtracting so this is called anti meridian so don't confuse with anti meridian and anti meridian so this is anti meridian you, you can also write am and at the same time 12 noon at 10 degree east now again at 11 degree east it will be 4 minutes gain that means now here the time is 12 hour 4 minutes now this is post meridian you can also call as pm So usually every country has got its own standard time. For example, in India, if uh, if I travel, you know, from uh, from uh, Calcutta to the Delhi, so the number of longitudes will pass through is around another 15. That means there is a one hour difference from Calcutta to Delhi. But we don't calculate within our country uh, two timings that will confuse our the timing. So we will decide with Indian standard time usually called as Indian standard time. So just we follow this Indian standard time to make out that the zone is within that. So if I calculate from zero degree is the zero hour or 12 noon. So India is having plus 5 and half hours difference because we come under the 5 and half hour zone from Greenwich England time. So every country has their own standard time. Uh, similarly, we have our Indian standard time. So when we take up this PM and EM, there is uh, one more uh, point usually we come across which is called East. If you are going towards East uh, hemisphere, East zone, East gain addition so we are going to add minutes towards the east part similarly west 
loss subtraction. So here in this case, if I take the example as a zero here, if I take the standard as a zero uh, meridian or prime meridian, now the next degree we have anti meridian we have a stop subtracted. So this will be the WLS and here we have added uh, the timing that means here is the EGA.